Hi guys and welcome back to Happily a Homeschool Mom. Um, today I need to plan the month of December. So um, if we look back at November, this is all that we accomplished this month. So we made some progress in some areas. Um, in some areas, we're still working on some stuff. Um, I have not crossed off absolutely everything. I need to go through and um, see where I'm at. Like he finished all of this. I know that for sure. Um, I'm not sure what chapter he left off on here. I need to check that off. I need to cross the rest of these off that he finished. Um, I think he's a little bit further in math. Um, we did do chapter two in Miracle at Philadelphia. Um, he did read all of these poems. I think he is to Lewis and Clark right now or Robinson Crusoe. Um, I'm not sure. I need to look at his book. Um, I know that Ethan is I think he's on 280 and 281 in his math book. I'm not sure. He does two different, two separate math books. Um, the other one is just a, um, it's a um, consumable book, so like a workbook. So um, I don't um, really keep track of that one. He just keeps, continues to work on it every day. And um, right now we are at, um, the kids have a history assessment tomorrow. Um, and right now we are, this they've done, they're at, um, they're studying the ozone layer tomorrow. Um, we did not get very far in health this month. Um, right now we are at Motivation for Change, so I need to cross those out. We did finish all of our geography for the month. Um, right now we are at Mount Vernon Conference of 1785. So we have about three more sections and then we have an exam on Constitution. So that's where we're at. And I'm going to mark all of those off and then um, and this is kind of what it looked like this week. Um, we we're supposed to take a history assessment on Thursday. I had a tooth pulled or they attempted to pull a tooth. They were not successful um, at completing that. They only pulled part of the tooth. Um, but I felt really yucky when I came home and so we didn't get these things done. They got their individual work done because they do that independently. Um, and they did do constitution because we did that on Wednesday. And then Friday, they got all of their individual work done and they got their art done. Um, Friday, I can't remember what was going on. I had cardiac rehab in the morning. We had something going on in the afternoon. I can't remember what it was. Um, but there was a reason why we didn't get to history, science, and constitution. They were supposed to have a, they were supposed to finish this chapter and then have their constitution exam. But what's going to happen is they'll finish it, um, this coming week and then they'll have their constitution exam probably on Tuesday because, um, the sec, they have three sections left. Um, they have, let's see. They have the Mount Vernon Conference of 1785. They have the Annapolis Convention. And then they have the convention called to revise the Articles of the Confederation. And then they have the chapter review um, exercises and then the essay questions for the test. So that's what they have to do. So they'll probably finish um, the final three sections and then they'll have their exam on Tuesday, their constitution exam on chapter four, I believe it is. Yep. So I'm going to get to work putting this all together, 
planning the month and all that stuff um, you know the drill how I do it generally um, and I'll be back to show you everything once I get it all completed hi guys I'm back so I am going to do this as quickly as possible because it is 11 p.m. and it is really late and I want to go to bed. So um, I finished planning December for the boys um, because it is, um, the month is full of holidays. Um, the big one being Christmas. We will go on Christmas break on Friday the 21st of December so that's what day we're gonna go on break so um, we're gonna work steadily until then and um, see how much we can accomplish this month um, the boys will have two weeks off so we'll go back on January let's see let me take a look at the calendar um, looks like we'll go back on the 7th, yeah, on January 7th, so that'll be our first day back. Um, so in spelling, we're doing units 10, 11, 12. Um, with Ethan, we just continued on with English. Um, I want to get at least through exam three, um, for unit three by the end of December. Um, Hunter, um, the main goal is to get through around the world in 80 days. He only has 11 chapters left, so he should be able to do that since he reads a chapter a day. And then he's going to start Old Christmas by Washington Irving. Um, he may or may not finish that book by the end of December. If not the end of December, he'll finish it um, by the end of January. Um, there's five sections in that book, and it's 159 pages. So I broke it up um, into reading assignments for him to read on his own. So he'll... Um, He'll read that and then he'll do a report. I didn't write that after this. It's hard to write and look through the camera. Um, and then Hunter's English lessons. Um, I would like to get him through unit six. Um, he's working ahead in English, so um, I don't see a problem with him getting done with Unit 6 by the end of December. Ethan will be done with The Adventures of Jimmy Skunk this week, and then he's going to start Christmas in My Heart. There are 14 chapters in that book. He will probably be done with that book by the end of December as well, and then he can start a brand new book when we come back in January. Um Hunter is very close to being done um, with his Algebra 1 book. He has eight lessons left, so it looks like a little over a week, and then he can start his Algebra 2 book, and then um, he needs to finish Unit 3 in his other math book, and then he'll probably start Unit 4. Um, I'm going to put that down here. Because I'll have to write down um, the lessons in Unit 4, and then I need to dig out the Algebra 2 book so I can write those lessons down too. But I don't need to do that tonight because um, I can do that on Saturday because he's got at least a week left in the current algebra book that he's in. Um, I had to add a page because Ethan finished his, um, all that I wrote down for the month for lit. Um, he has quite a few stories left for that. Um, 
we are on chapter three, A Miracle at Philadelphia, chapter seven for King and Country. Um, Hunter, this is his lit, and it continues on to this page, and then back here, and then he's done with this lit book. I do not think he will finish his lit book by the end of December. There's quite a few left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, There's 30. There's 30 stories left. So um, he'll finish that book in January and then he'll start the next book the next lit book. So, um, Ethan, he should get done with, let's see, unit, I guess his math book doesn't have units. Well, it has to have units. Um, I'm not sure what unit that is. But anyway, he's going to get to page 308, 309, and then he works sheet 96, so whatever that is. Um, and there is a unit. That, that book does have units. I don't know. Did I write that down? Somewhere it's written down. I don't know. I'm getting really tired, so... It doesn't matter for tonight. I'll figure it out in the morning. Um, for health, I want to finish unit three. History, we need to get done with assessment number four by the end of December. I think we can do this if we accomplish one unit a week. Um, science, I want to get done with module three exam by the end of December. That I think is doable. And then geography unit four and possibly, probably unit five. So unit four and five for the end of December. And then definitely um, we'll be done this week um, with unit four and constitution. And we'll probably do unit five and, and then unit six. I need to write those down, but I'm not going to worry about that tonight. Like I said, it's late and I can write those down later. Um, this is our schedule for the week. So, um, trying to get done with chapter three and miracle and 30 or miracle on 34th street. See, I am really tired. Miracle in Philadelphia and of King and country chapter seven. Um, tomorrow we have advent spelling, pretest, math, reading, and literature. English, piano, science, history exam, constitution, we need to finish the unit. Tuesday, we have Advent, math, reading and lit, English, piano, science, history, constitution exam, and then we have health. Wednesday, we have Advent, spelling work, math, reading and literature, English, science, history, geography, and piano. Thursday, we have Advent, Math, Reading and Lit, English, Piano, Science, History, Geography, and then we have Piano Lessons at 2.30. Friday, we have Advent, Spelling Tests, if the kids have to take a test, um, you know, the drill. If they get 100 on Monday, then they don't have to take the test. And then um, Math, Reading and Lit, Piano, and then they have Art. Usually, I, um, I incorporate Art with... Um, one of the read, the read alouds that I do, usually of King and Country, I'll read that while they're doing art. And then science, history, and health. And that's it for the week. So we'll see what we accomplish this week. And um, I will be back next week with another homeschool planning video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next Saturday. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great homeschooling week. Bye.